Rain gardens can be a beautiful, inexpensive, simple to implement and environmentally sound solution to urban stormwater runoff. The Residential Rain Garden Program through the London Environmental Network gives Londoners an opportunity to create a positive environmental impact within their community and take immediate action against climate change. This video outlines the steps Londoners can take to create their own rain garden and start protecting our stormwater runoff. My name is Patrick Donnelly. I'm the manager of watersheds and climate change and my role at the City of London is part of a team of four people dealing with the Climate Emergency Action Plan and implementation of it. The Climate Emergency Action Plan is actually for the entire community. The City of London has much influence, but it can't be done just by city. So it's very much involved with the partners being our organizations, our, our collaborators, and the residents of, of London. So the Climate Emergency Action Plan has suggested actions for everyone, from institutions to neighborhoods, and right down to the, the property level. Because of my position dealing with watersheds, I'm very much involved with surface water and how surface water is going to change with climate change. We're already seeing it with flooding, both from the river and also from overloaded storm sewers. So rain gardens in general are, are actually making our city, and, and this is common in many urban areas, a little bit more um, soft, a little bit more allowing perviousness so our moisture is able to get into the ground rather than running off the surface. Uh, many people refer to turf lawns as green concrete. During heavy rains, especially the ones we're anticipating with climate change, the water runs off more than it soaks in. So rain gardens have the ability of allowing that water to soak in, allowing the uh, vegetation that grows around it to utilize the water, and in fact, any water that runs off it is also purified because of the filtering system. So it's a, a little mini treatment uh, facility right on that individual's property, which is a huge relief to the already challenged stormwater system, which was designed not for these high intensity uh, rainfall events that we're getting now because of climate change. This particular property, it's even more important because it lies in the coves of watershed. So any water that runs off the property onto the road into the storm drain ends up in the center pond of the coves. The coves being one of London's environmentally significant areas and definitely an area that has challenges just because it's an older part of the city that has no stormwater management facilities like stormwater management ponds that you might see in some of the uh, areas around the city in some of the newer developments. This specific site being in Old South is actually in an area where the lots are quite small so sometimes it is um, challenging to put in uh, features like rain gardens, uh, bioswells, other features that are more permeable. So this one actually is in the front yard and is a, a really good example of again a landowner taking action on their, on their own to deal with climate adaptation. Rain gardens are widely variable and depend directly on site conditions as well as the intended result or remedy. With many variables involved in deciding whether a rain garden is appropriate for your property, it's important to consider these requirements. There is a low-lying area on your property where water naturally flows during a heavy storm. Your potential garden space is relatively flat, 1-5% to slope is ideal. You have a source of water to feed your potential garden space, such as a downspout or rain barrel. The rain garden is a minimum of 3 meters from any building foundation, home, garage, or other buildings minimum of four meters from any septic bed, minimum of 15 meters when uphill from septic bed, minimum of 15 meters from any steep slopes, 15% or greater, on or around your site. Before you start digging, complete a free Ontario One Call form online to ensure no gas, water, or internet lines are in the area you want to place your rain garden. They usually take one to two weeks to review your location and send a report via email about what is underground at your location. You are now ready to start building your rain garden. Designing is the fundamental step needed to ensure a successful and functional rain garden in the end. Before beginning, think about the selection and variety of plants, shrubs, flowers, and grasses that you would like to include. This is an opportunity to create variety in color, height, and texture, as well as complement your existing architecture and landscaping. 
While choosing plants and designing your rain garden, consider how these plants may look throughout different seasons and how this additional garden may play into the overall structure and flow of your property or neighboring properties. There are many native plant options to consider for your garden. Staff at the London Environmental Network are happy to suggest a variety of plant options to get you started. You may require the following materials and tools when building your rain garden. Shovels, edgers, and wheelbarrows, gloves, goggles, and other protective equipment, spray paint or string to mark the outline of the garden, sand, compost mixture, mulch, feature rocks and stones, collection of selected native plants. Step one, digging your rain garden. Before you start to dig, mark out your rain garden area to make sure you are happy with the size and how it will look in relation to its surroundings. Mark this outline with spray paint or wood stakes and string lines. At this point, also mark the location of water inlets and outlets if you have an opportunity for overflow to travel to another area. Start digging your new garden to a depth of approximately 85 to 100 centimeters, about three feet. Step two, soil for your rain garden. Soil backfill is the most important differentiating factor for your rain garden. Rain gardens require a special soil mix to work properly and drain effectively. Start by filling the dugout section with a sand and compost soil mixture. This unique soil mixture is what allows stormwater to infiltrate easily and quickly, providing filtration and nutrients for plants. Step three, getting water to the rain garden. Rain gardens require a source of water and an area for overflowing water to travel naturally. Inlets may be created by extending downspouts across a landscaped area through an infiltration trench or through the overflow pipe from a rain barrel. Small stones should be placed to slow the water and protect soil. Outlets are created just in case of exceptional stormwater volume that cannot be absorbed by the natural soil drainage system. Outlets are located on the downhill side of the garden, allowing excess water to be directed towards an open area of lawn or adjoining garden space. Step four, planting your rain garden. When planting, dig a hole that is wide enough to fit the plant and the depth should be equal to the depth of the top of the soil of the plant. Consider the plant's mature size, horizontally and vertically when spacing. Establishing plants requires frequent watering for the first month, approximately several times per week at first, but afterwards require very little maintenance. The final step of planting is adding a generous layer of shredded hardwood mulch, approximately five to 10 centimeters, or two to four inches maximum. Well-planned and designed rain gardens require minimal maintenance apart from general care to ensure proper function and growth of your plants. This may take the form of checking mulch annually and adding fresh mulch as needed to maintain a generous and even coverage. Your rain garden is now ready to collect storm water and filter it back into the ground, protecting our waterways from flooding, erosion, and pollution. Your impact is a positive step forward in addressing the climate emergency in London and influencing environmental change in your community. For more information on stormwater runoff, rain gardens, or how you can be a part of London Climate Emergency Action Plan, please visit londonenvironment.net and getinvolved.london.ca.